What's going on everybody? It's Dakota here for another video and first of all, sorry I haven't uploaded recently. I've just been working an insanely amount of hours just to catch up and with everything going on it's just been a little hectic but now we're going to be doing something to the Audi. It's a little thing but uh, it's the starting off basically how I'm going to transform my interior because this is going to be the first step and then next when I can go get some more supplies I'll show you the really big step but starting off with that today we're going to be changing these little silver trim pieces to carbon fiber so it's gonna look a lot cooler and then what I want to do uh, soon I can't get it right now because I haven't been able to find a store that is open with it but I want to switch out this door panel not the whole door panel but like just this insert right here I want to see if I can wrap it in suede because there's Alcantara I guess because my goal for this interior is I want to make it look more like the newer Audis because I really like how they have like the carbon fiber panel and then they have the suede right there. Looks really good to me and I really want to do that. But in the meantime, we're going to wrap every single trim piece on the interior. So I'm going to show you how to take them out, wrap them, and then we're going to put it back together. And I'm going to show you all what it looks like. All right, so taking out these trim pieces is going to be a little bit complicated because on this one and then on the rear doors, they just literally pop right off. You can grab it. It's super easy. But for this, what you have to do is a little more complex. So starting off on the passenger side, you pop off this panel right here, just a flat head, and it just pops right out. You've got a screw right here, it's an eight millimeter. And then you're gonna have to take the same screwdriver and pop this trim panel off right here. There's gonna be one right there and one right there. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to make a video. You can't just hop in here real quick. Oh, you like hanging out back there, don't you? <laughs> I'm not sure if I pointed to the right one earlier, but what it is, not this one right here, but there's one in there. And then once you get that off, this will come loose as you can see. Now to get the rest of it off and for the other little trim panel, I'm going to hop over to the driver's side and show you how to take out the bottom of the uh, dashboard. All right, now that we have half the damn car taken apart, what you're going to want to do is there's going to be a bolt right there. Then there's going to be a bolt on this side and that side. You have to take down the glove box because there's that one bolt right there. And then there is a bolt right there for this last trim panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those out and show you how it looks. All right, everybody, so this is the weirdest way to remove this, but you, ha you have to remove your headlight switch. Also, there's one there, and then I forgot to tell you, there's one hidden over here. You just need to set your steering wheel to the lowest setting, use your turn signal out of the way, and there's a bolt right there, that's it. Now for this, you just push it in, like you'll feel it go in, twist it a little bit and then pull the up oh, no like that so push it in turn it a little bit and the whole thing just pulls right out and then you can just connect it and this thing will finally come out and then as far as this like I said one bolt right there take it out and I'll have all these prepped in a second all right and last update I swear so you have a little surprise uh, bolt hidden for you back there that's one more thing I didn't get to mention before I saw it and now that everything's out I'm gonna go finally take it inside and start wrapping all right, so I have all the trim pieces out right here. Now, hypothetically, I might have ordered too much of this uh, wrap because <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I had enough. And needless to say, I can wrap anything I want now. So um, I'm going to figure out how to get it out of this package, and then we're going to get started on that. Alrighty, now that I have everything cut to shape after that crazy ordeal, I don't know why they packaged it like that. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping some pieces, and I'll show you what they look like. Alright everybody, so I got everything wrapped last night. As you can see, it came out really good. I got all the panels wrapped. Uh, unfortunately, it's raining, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pop these in and show you how it looks. And basically installing them, it's just the reverse order of how I told you to take them out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put everything in, and then I'm going to clean up the interior and show you all how it looks. Okay, and here it is all back together, back in the car, and as you can see, it really, really made a difference on the interior. Even the quattro right there, I got it done on all four doors. I'd show you a little more in depth, but it, like I said, it's raining, so it really helps out the interior, because as you can see, this one's all a little messed up, and I like the carbon fiber look over the silver, it really kind of brings the interior to modern spec, and like I said, what I want to do with the door panels, it's going to look really good. 
So everybody, I really like how it turned out in the interior. It looks really good. I was going to add a few more things, hence why it's a little dark right now, but I ran out of uh, material and time, so I'll have to order some more, and then I'll give you all an update on that. But I do have, like I said with the uh, door panels as well, a few other things coming for this car. I have some exterior mods that are going to be really cool, and I'm finally going to be doing a few performance things with this car, so super, super excited. I still love this car. If you want to stay update on it, please help me out by hitting the subscribe and the like button. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you all in the next one.